Sometime last week, we made a video going over the top five NHL prospect pools. We actually used Byron Bader's Twitter to reference us and give us a little bit of a guide because what Bader did was he used his analytical model of prospects to analyze each of the 32 prospect pools and rank them accordingly. The video last week went over the top five and we talked a little bit in depth about who was there, what names made these prospect pools so great, and what other names you could be looking out for. Well, I did say back in that video that I wanted to go out there and do the reverse as well. So, where we have this graphic of Byron Bader's top prospect pools, we have a list that goes all the way down to the bottom that I wanted to read in reverse order. Let's talk about the prospect pools that are ranked 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st, and 32nd in the NHL by Byron Bader. These are effectively the top five worst prospect pools in the NHL. Now, if you remember what we did last week, we talked about each of the teams that were ranked 1 to 5, and we went over a few categories. We went over Bader's graphic talking about top 5 star rank, which essentially ranks the top 5 prospects that each NHL team has. We went over the top 5 NHL equivalency score rank, which covers the equivalency score of each of these teams' top 5 prospects ranked. We went over the depth stars, which is the amount of depth, the quantity of prospects that each team has that happen to be good. And then we went over depth NHL equivalency score rank, which is pretty much the equivalency score of everybody else combined and ranked as well. You could see that there are different rankings for each of these teams, but in order to get high up on the list, you would need to max out at the top of most of these lists. It was a pretty cool algamation of data last time, but this time I wanted to go out there and talk about the opposite. So, without further ado, let's head over to the 28th to 32nd best NHL prospect pools, which, if you flip it, essentially means the top five worst. Starting out with number five. This is the 28th ranked prospect pool. It is the Edmonton Oilers. Now, when it comes to the the top five star ranking, so the ranking of the top five prospects in Edmonton, they're ranked 29th. The NHL equivalency score of their best five prospects is actually ranked 24th. They've got depth stars in their system, so they're ranked 21st there, and their equivalency of these depth players is ranked 25, so their overall ranking is 28. The little tweet here in the summary for Bader says that the Oilers have themselves their top five prospects of Carter Savoy, Philip Broberg, Dylan Holloway, Raphael Lavoie, and Xavier Borgo. Not too much notable left in the prospect pool here. They probably have players that can play 200 games in Philip Broberg and Dylan Holloway, but it's tough to say beyond that. Now, when it comes to the Oilers and these guys, Carter Savoy is a name that we've been talking about extensively the past few years because he was such a talented goal scorer with the University of Denver Pioneers. Obviously, NCAA success doesn't always translate to NHL success, but you would rather see this guy go out there and produce than not. He had spent his previous year in the Bakersfield Condor system where he did not have the same level of success at all. He dropped off pretty heavily, but I mean, it's okay because AHL is not the NCAA. Broberg's name has been in trade rumors the past little while. Dylan Holloway had played a bunch of NHL games last season, but was not too productive in any of them. So you're hoping for better growth out of all of these players, but for the ones that haven't showed off at the NHL level yet, you're really hoping that they could maximize their value and eventually prove that this list maybe has them a little bit underranked. Moving over onto the 29th best prospect pool, aka the fourth worst prospect pool in the NHL, it is the Pittsburgh Penguins. Their star ranking is at 27, so the top five prospects in Pittsburgh are the 27th best top five group. The equivalency score is also 27th. They have quite a few prospects that are drafted and actually do have some value, so they're actually ranked 21st in terms of depth stars, but their equivalency score ranking is not great. They're ranked 30th in that respect for their depth guys. This is the analysis done on the Penguins. Their top five skaters include Braden Yeager, Marie-Philippe Poulin, Philip Hollander, Nathan Legare, and Ryan Pickering. Just kidding, I messed up on the name. It's Owen Pickering. Yeah, no, I know. It's not Murray Philly Poulin, it's Samuel Poulin. I'm making a joke. But either way, a lot of these guys have been players that I've been intrigued in over the past few years. Just seeing a lot of the production they had, especially in the queue, you can notice that there are some QMJHL guys here. Braden Yeager, we already talked about him in the Why I Want earlier this season. I definitely do think he has a lot of potential, and he's number one for Pittsburgh for a reason. 
But the rest of this team, I mean, Helander has been bounced around from Pittsburgh to Toronto, back to Pittsburgh. Legare and Poulin have not really shown off too well after the QMJHL. There was a time where some of us thought these guys and their raw skill could potentially carry them to middle six NHL spots, but that hasn't happened just yet. We'll have to wait and see. Pittsburgh, though, always trading away their prospects and their picks to get players that could help them, and then now it makes sense. You've got Crosby, Malk, and Latang. They're all old, so you want to make sure they go out with a bang and still remain competitive to the end of their days. But either way, the Penguins are the fourth worst prospect pool in the NHL, according to Byron Bader's model. Let's move over onto the 30th best pool, aka the third worst pool. It is the Vancouver Canucks. Now, their top five is one of the worst in the league, as they're ranked 30th overall. The NHL equivalency score of these top five, though, is actually ranked 29th. Their depth is one of the worst. They're ranked 31st, which means that they don't really have that much quantity of prospects. However, the prospects they do have have a pretty all right equivalency score, so they're actually ranked 20th overall for depth NHL equivalency. Nevertheless, though, the Canucks do have one of the worst prospect pools in the league, and their top five skater prospects include Atu Ratu, Jonathan Lekaramaki, Tom Villander, Elias Pettersson, and Linus Carlson. These guys are all great, and I like them a lot, but the thing is, when it comes to top 5 star ranking, the Vancouver Canucks don't have any of these guys that project to become stars. Columbus has a few of them. They've got Kent Johnson, they've got Adam Fantilli, Montreal, you've got Slavkovsky, who is supposed to be good, David Reinbacher, New Jersey's got Luke Hughes, Simon Nemec, Seattle Kraken's got Shane Wright. This Vancouver Canucks team has no prospects on the magnitude of any of those guys, and it's why their top players in Atiratu and Lekaramaki are not listed too highly on the top five star rank of this list. Either way, though, I do like a lot of the potential that these players have, and it's okay to not have too many star prospects because you already have star players that are young enough. It's just being able to take guys in the draft that would eventually become stars and have high potential is probably valuable as well. It's just the Canucks have focused more so on guys to fill out the rest of their lineup in these past few years worth of drafting. Ratu, Lekaramaki, Villander, Pedersen, I think they all have legitimate chances to make the NHL. It's just how long is that going to take and how good are they really going to be? There's uncertainty there with these guys being your top guys, which is why the Vancouver Canucks prospect pool is ranked as lowly as it is. With that in mind, though, let's head over onto the second worst NHL prospect pool in the NHL. This is the 31st best, so second worst, the New York Islanders. They're ranked 31st in terms of their top five star ranking, their NHL equivalency score ranking for the top five. However, their depth stars are actually doing a bit better. They've got a few more prospects than Vancouver, so they're ranked 29th for depth stars. However, the quality of these depth stars is not as great, so they're actually ranked 30th overall there. The Islanders' top five prospects include Ruslan Ishkakov, Samuel Bolduc, William Defour, Simon Holmstrom, and Kali Odelius. And that is a list of guys that I really didn't think should have been listed as top five prospects for any organization back when they were drafted. Ruslan Ishkakov is a guy that I actually was a pretty big fan of when he was a University of Connecticut player in the NCAA, but he took a long time away from the North American side of the game, heading over to the Finnish Liga, heading over to Germany. Now he's back in the AHL, and admittedly he's doing pretty all right, but there hasn't been that level of NHL success just yet. You have Samuel Bolduc who is in here, who actually did play NHL games on the Islanders' blue line, so good for him for getting that sample. He's a big guy who doesn't really produce all too much, but we're of course going to be hoping for better things out of him. William Dufour is also in here, same with Holmstrom, same with Callie Odelius, just a grab bag list of guys that if you're lucky, become middle pairing, middle scoring type players for the Islanders. It's understandable to see why their star ranking is not really high up there. And the same could be said about the last team here. The worst prospect pool in the NHL belongs to the Boston Bruins. They are ranked 32nd in every category because they don't have a high quantity of guys, and the guys they do have aren't the best. The Byron Bader tweet says this, the Bruins' top five skater prospects include Mason Loray, Matthew Poitras, John Beecher, Brett Harrison, and Fabian Liesel. Now, these guys are coming from all over. You've got NCAA talent, WHL talent, OHL talent. Some of these guys have played a little bit in Providence. Others have played a season in Providence. So we're all hoping to see more out of the Boston Bruins prospect pool. But the point is, with this list, these guys that they have are not projected to being the best based off of their analytical data in Byron Bader's model. It's why Boston is listed as the worst prospect pool. And besides, even though you have guys that could become good, like if Mason Lurie becomes an NHL player, I wouldn't be surprised he was pretty good in Ohio State. But 
With the way the Bruins are right now, they're competitive, they're president's trophy caliber, they don't need a good prospect pool at the moment. Until you see everybody inevitably retire because they're getting old, but either way, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below about each of these teams and their worst prospect pool rankings in the NHL. You've got the Oilers, the Penguins, the Canucks, the Islanders, and the Bruins. These teams, according to Byron Bader, have the five worst pools in the entire National Hockey League. How does that make you feel? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.